In our last video we finished installing the floor and the ceiling panel and since then I went ahead and cut out the opening for this powered roof vent. It's got a really nice thermostat controlled fan and shrouded cover so it can run during the rain. Then I got to work cutting the composite panels that make up the hip roof for the overhang angles. These two pieces uh, give that 45 degree bevel where the roof meets the walls. And uh, here I am drilling the holes and I found it very important to sand the gel coat, give it the adhesive uh, rubber gasket something to stick to and I found the primer just went on a lot nicer as well. Also, if there's an area where the primer's missed, then the adhesive has a better chance of grabbing. That, of course, is the Sikaflex adhesive. And then dear sweet chickadee was very helpful with all of this. She got good at lining up the rivets as I got the clamps in place, trying to get the uh, rivet holes to line up with the holes I had pre-drilled. And then I would go along with the clamp and she'd run the rivet gun. So that's the driver's side finished, then we started on the passenger side exactly the same. Uh, so I won't bore you with too much on that. This is a shot of me putting on the adhesive on the passenger side main wall section. Here you can see I'm kind of putting those little waves in the glue and that's to avoid the rivet holes because you don't want the glue squishing out the rivet holes it makes for not much fun and even though this sheet is 12 feet long uh, you can see they're quite light well relatively light they're heavy but if you're a 300 pound gorilla you can move it simply enough so those were the four walls and roof sort of up. Then I didn't video any of those front sections going in, but yesterday we put in a bunch of pieces for the front, so I've got some video clips of that. This is the main area, which will... I'm behind the cab, obviously. And again, I'm lining it up and putting the clamps on as Kara puts the rivets through the holes. It's almost essential to put the rivets through the holes first uh, in all of the places and then crimp them, otherwise you're going to have one of them not line up. And these front sections went in relatively easily. I had one area where I needed to improvise some funny clamping, but overall wasn't too bad. I went kind of overboard with the primer and the adhesive because I wanted to make sure these front sections that were going to be facing the oncoming wind when you're driving would have the best chance of success. And that's where we left it. I've got these uh, front panels all in. All that's left to do is these uh, two little ones at the top. You can see the dark area there. And then this shot on the inside you can see the uh, the area in the middle. I need to run a bunch of wiring in there. But it's starting to come together. It's looking like the box in the uh, CAD drawing now and that's exciting to see. If you haven't seen any of our other videos, click on our channel name below and you can see some of the other steps that got us to where we are today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.